Hey guys, this is Froggy2K9, and today I'm going to be talking about Xbox vs PS3 versus PC. So I've had the ability to play on all systems now for a little bit. I've had the ability to play for a little bit on all systems, and they've all got their own perks, and they've all got their own drawbacks. Biggest drawback at the moment for Xbox is, and the PS3 as well, is their graphics. They are old machines now, com at least compared to PCs, and their graphics ain't too good, at least compared. What a fail there. At least compared to the PC. The PCs have much, much better graphics now, especially with new technologies coming in, faster graphics cards better internet connections, everything like that, all adds up to a better system, but the Xbox in its day and the PS3 in its day were brilliant. They're still they're still going and I think they can still go strong for another maybe maybe three or four years they can still go strong for. But after that I I think they're going down. It ain't gonna last too much longer simply because of the graphics. That's that's the only reason they won't survive for too much longer. Other than that, everything else is brilliant on them. So, I don't really see where the war comes into it. I don't see how PC players think they're so much awesomer. I don't know. I don't see it. Just because some people prefer controllers, some people prefer a mouse and keyboard. I prefer a mouse and keyboard. But that doesn't mean it's better than controller. This is uh, this is just one of the good, one of the better games that I had. It's not the best, but it's just one of the better games I had between the, between the matches that I did. It was able to play. It took a while to get it to work because I had several things wrong with the PC at the time that I had to sort out. Other than that, it was it was quite a good day. I was having fun. Uh, Steam. Steam is one of the best things that ever hit the PC, I believe so anyway. I think Origin is shit, and I won't use it, because I want to keep all my stuff on one program. I only want to have one program on there. I don't want to have to have 60 programs to run 60 games. I want to have run one program where I can run all 60 games. It's not... It's not me against the make. It's not me against the uh, game developers inside Dice or oh, inside EA. Sorry, because they are good. They're, the game developers are good. It's just to be honest with you, I I will only support Dice in that fact because Dice is the only uh, developer under EA that I actually like, other than. Uh, other than, um, God, <sighs> I think it's Crygen, Crisis Makers. Oh, I like, I like them, but they, they did put a lot of work into their games. But the thing is, I didn't see, I didn't see it getting any bigger. So I just thought to myself, you know, there's a lot of issues with the game. Especially on the console versions, uh, I found so anyway. I was trying to play it, got a lot of lag, got a lot of got a lot of people on there who uh, seem to abuse some of the systems on there, such as the uh, the visibility system, the uh, the armor system. They seem to just abuse it as much as they possibly can. They hide in corners and stuff like that. It's it's all over the place. And in this game, I only found one person hiding in a corner. Only one person, and that was quite good. I like that, the fact that there was one person. Scared the crap out of me when I came across him, but he was sitting in a corner. So that's, that's anyway why I won't, that's why I won't uh, go into Origin. Because I don't like EA at all. There's several reasons I don't like EA. The biggest one being the fact that they uh, charge their customers to, uh, to sell second-hand copies. They charge their customers to sell second-hand copies. That's one reason I don't like them. 
Another reason would be they're making me uh, use another system to play Battlefield. They're making me use Origin. I have to download Origin to play Battlefield. I do not like that fact, right? I could play, I could go on to, as you can see in this game, Call of Duty, and I don't need to go and download any extra programs for it at all. I can just hop on if I want, I can just put the disc in and I can just go and play. I chose to put it on Steam so that it's with my other games, so that it's with my other system, so I can just go on to it as if I was on a console, just click on Steam and play. That's it. That's all I need to do. I don't want to have to sign into different programs to play different games. If I get pissed off with one, I want to be able to just go and play a game that's going to like relax me. I'm going to get just relaxed out. It's something I've always wanted to do and because of Steam I'm able to do it. Some of the uh, some of the parts of this game are actually just like you see it flicker. The reason be the reason for that is because Perhaps I don't know why. For some reason, likes to split the clips up if it gets to like three gigabytes, and it just like splits the clip there, and I had to splice them together, and I didn't do it too well because there's a lot of jumps around inside the game, and I probably should uh, use a different system to record it. I'm gonna look up better ways of recording uh, Call of Duty gameplay. And others, like uh, I've got Battlefield Bad Company 2 on here as well. I haven't got Battlefield 3 yet. I will be getting it because I want to support DICE and what they're doing. Because Battlefield is an amazing game. I love the graphic quality. It plays good. They've made a, f they made a, I think it's a 30 frame per second game feel like a 60 frame per second game, which is absolutely amazing. Well done to them. The guns feel good. Uh, the beta was awesome. I loved the beta. There was a few glitches, but... I love the beta, it was amazing. And I can't wait to stick it on the uh, stick it on the PC and turn the graphics all the way up to Ultra and test a bit of that Ultra out. Uh, I won't be able to do it immediately because as of yet I had to send the graphics card that I had back because the graphics card I got it was it was faulty, I don't know what I don't know what was wrong with it. It would just it just wouldn't work at all. My system is my system's good for it. My system can run it. It's the NVIDIA 560 Ti, I think it is. 560, something like that. My system was good for it, but for some reason it wouldn't run. So apparently they're sending me a different one. It's it's the great down, but it's been specifically designed for my PC, apparently. I don't know. I sent them my specs. I sent them the motherboard. I sent them the CPU. I sent them my everything like that. And... The return I got was, we're setting it up so that you can just plug it in and you can go straight away. You won't need to worry about too much. And if there's another issue, then just call us up. If you don't know, the company that do that I'm getting the graphics card off is NVIDIA. NVIDIA is an amazing company. They're great graphics cards. Well done to them. So I'm getting that. <sighs> Like really too early for me. It's like nine. It's like nine in the morning. I just don't get up until like ten on a weekend or like on a week off, like I have here. It's like too damn early. <laughs> but you have to do what you have to do. Hey, eh? you have to do it. So hopefully next game I will get up better graphics for you, and I will make sure that uh, the. All the settings are up as high as I possibly can on this game because this is uh, quite low settings because of the way I was recording it was causing me a lot of lag and hopefully I can record it in a different way next time. Frap seems to lag up games like hell unless it's like simpler games such as uh, Portal or Left 4 Dead such as like that so unless it's those sort of games it seems to lag it up a little bit. Even now um, the window in which I'm watching it is very laggy, so I believe it's going to be laggy for you. It might not be, it might just be because I'm trying to record audio at the same time as I'm watching a video. I'm not too sure about that. Let's see, uh, I got GTA. All the GTAs. I got the original one, which I want to record, but I, I just don't know how to. I've been trying everything. I even tried downloading another recording software, 
to, to uh, record it, but it just won't it just won't register that it's playing. I don't know what's wrong with it or what I could do to change it. I will attempt to. I will, I'll get uh, I'll get some more internet time in. Just look through uh, Google, see if they got any uh, see if they got any form for it. See if there's any forms that will help or anything like that. But I just don't know how to. It just doesn't seem to register that the game is running at the time. I don't know why it is, but perhaps you guys do. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. As you can see, I'm running out of ammo here. I just like um, r walking around with a pistol. I'm trying to get them to come into me, so that my pistol will be worth shit. But they just won't come in. Uh, I hear a guy downstairs. He can hear me shooting upstairs, and I try to actually knife him here, but I just couldn't find my knife button. I just kept on changing weapons. I was like, God damn it! I'm pushing the wrong button, and I I'm pushing the wrong button. Gah! I was, I was, I, was, uh, I need to re remap my buttons so they're a little easier to find. But I get taken out there before I get my second chopper, otherwise I would have got a second chopper. This is why I like Bandolier. Bandolier is one of my favorite perks. I use it all the time, almost almost every single weapon. There's only a few that I don't use it on. Other than that, it's stopping power for me. So... The last perk I just do, no, I just put in random ones most of the time. Extreme conditioning is one of the better ones, but there are a lot of, a lot of uh, third tier perks. Don't really know what to put in there sometimes. I just put them in there. But uh, catch a camper there, the blade guy. He just decides to uh, set it out in a corner. He's like, you know what? I'm not gonna move. But I say to that. You don't move, I'll take you out. You'll go down. Game's coming up to an end here. I just thought I might get that uh, Xbox versus PS3 versus PC out. They're all good systems. They're all brilliant. They're all amazing in their own way. But the consoles are getting a little behind the times, which is why they're now starting to uh, starting to think about upgrading. I think they've actually thought about it for a long time now, it's just they've actually actually took it to the next level and they're going somewhere with it, so that's good, that's brilliant. Thanks to them. <sighs> Don't really know what to say after that. I'll probably be bringing you some, some more videos soon, some more Minecraft. It's, uh, we had a lot of fun uh, doing uh, doing two or three maps, something like that. So we'll be uploading those maps, and you'll get those soon. So thank you very much. See you later.